Hey everyone, it's Socrafty AG, and today I'm going to be doing um, my summer house tour for 2015. So some of these rooms haven't really changed, so I will try to remember to link all the rooms that I have separate room tours for in the description box. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Okay, so here's an overview just so you kind of get the feel of how my dollhouse is. So I have like the main living space up there, I have bedrooms underneath, the bathroom, some more bedrooms craft room and then over here I have um, the bakery, the pet store and then I have my crafting area over there. Here's the pet store, um, my storage area, the school, the shop and my tripod. So let's go. Okay so starting with the kitchen living room area. This part has changed just a little bit. I just have some Mexican food on there from Sage's picnic set and I still have the same chair there, same table, same thing. Um, here's the fridge. It's the same as ever. Really messy inside. So as you can see, it's just stuffed with food. Over here is new though. This black table was in the art room before and I just moved it here and I think it looks really cute. Um, I have this little stool which was also from the art room and it's just made from my froggy stuff tutorial. On top I have this bread basket with some bread in it and this little flower pot with flowers. Okay, so the rest of the kitchen is exactly the same as before, so I will also link my previous house tour in the description box if you'd like to see that. So now here is the living room. So the living room is pretty much all the same, except they have a little bit of new stuff here. So beside Regan, I just have this basket, which is Sage's picnic basket. Inside, I just have a bunch of books and stuff. And also, there's another really cute blanket on there which is from Sage's Picnic Set, and back there, there's just some pillows chilling on the floor. And there's the fireplace. And over here is the bathroom. The bathroom hasn't changed, but the floor is just this really cool tile from a thrift store. There's a little chair over there, a mirror, um, the vanity, the shower, which is from my Froggy Stuff tutorial. Here is Finley's room, and this is kind of a bad angle because this thing seems to be in the way. But I don't think I've done a detailed room tour on this, so I will show you what's inside. Okay, so starting in the corner, there's this little wicker chair from a thrift store. Um, her bed is just made out of like an old CD box, and she has some art in the back, and a um, pillow. Beside her bed, there's a cat that has fallen down. I don't know where he's from. Back there, there's a little side table and um, a purse and it's just held up by this Art Generation wardrobe. Over here I have this little mannequin that I made in the back, a fur rug on the floor and this really cute locker chandelier. And over here there's a fireplace and just some memo boards on the wall. So above Finley's room is the art studio so we're gonna go up there. Here's an overview of the art studio. So it hasn't really changed except for that corner. So if you remember the desk or the little black table I showed you in the kitchen, that table used to be here. And I just moved Kit's desk up here because I think it looks really cute. And I also got a new desk for my school so I was just kind of rearranging. So I have this little canvas piece from the Doll Art Studio book. Most of these things in here are from that book. She's just sitting on Kit's chair which has a little seat cover I made. Above it there is some artwork which is from my Froggy Stuffs websites. And on the top of the desk there's another little painting that I did. Some pottery and this little box full of pencil crayons, paintbrushes, and paint. So like I said before, the rest of the art room is pretty much the same. So there's just a mirror, a full length um, easel, this really cute shelf with a bunch of art stuff and meatloaf is sitting there. There's a flute over there, just some posters and paintings on the wall. Over here there's a beanbag chair, um, another little shelf, and a music stand, and then I have this really cute little flag thing on the wall. Okay, so that's kind of like the top main part of the dollhouse. Now we're going to go below over here to Oliver's room. Okay, so here we have Oliver's room, and actually his room has not changed at all since I did my um, room tour on that, so I will link that down below. But I just have this bed over here, which Oliver is sitting on, some posters on the wall, a beanbag chair, a lamp in the corner, and this little coffee side table thing with a bunch of knickknacks on it and a TV in the corner. So beside Oliver's room, we have Regan's room. 
So starting on the floor, she just has this little felt mat. This chair, which I made of duct tape and cardboard, but it's kind of falling apart. Here she has her little desk which a bunch, with a bunch of cute stuff on it. So there's a computer which I made, a little memo board, and these two boxes which hold like a bunch of books and pencils and stuff. And then there's an R on the top. Here is her gorgeous bed and the bedding I just made myself with like a fabric pack from Walmart or something like that. She has a bunch of pillows on there and most of her decorations in here were made in one of my more recent doll room decor videos so you guys should go watch that. So she just has some pillows on there and here's her little side table which has a cute little bowl on it. There's a dream catcher there and a little pom-pom garland. So here we have the combined room of Harper and Lila. So Harper's just sitting on her bed over there. And starting over there, we have Lila's bed, which my dad actually made for me and I made the bedding. It's kind of a really massive bed, so it's more like a king size bed for them, but it's still cute. Um, below the bed, I just have some, like a dog bed and dog food. Back in the corner, if you can see, there's a little green chair, which is from Gordman's, a little blue ottoman, um, this little flower pot. Here is the shelf. So starting on the bottom, there's just like an owl, a little doll, and a basket. The next one has some books and a fish tank, and the top shelf has these two um, pieces of cardboard covered in fabric, and just some other little knickknacks. Beside there, there is a little um, nightstand. On top, there's a little owl dish with some rainbow balloon bracelets in it. So here's Harper's side of the room. She's just sitting on her bed, which is made from a My Froggy Stuff tutorial. There is a little blanket at the end, which I crocheted. And the headboard of her bed was made from an old Barbie bed, I think. Barbie day bed, something like that. But I think it looks super cute. Beside her bed, there's a guitar, which I made and it's blue. In the back there is this pot full of greenery and here's your little craft desk thing. It has a sewing machine on top and just some other little craft supplies and there's like some thread and there's a memo board on the top which I made and over here there's a little painting and a bag from the doll travel book. So that's the bottom row of doll bedrooms mostly so we are now going to jump over to the bakery and pet store. The pet store is another room that hasn't really changed that much, but just to kind of give you a quick little tour of it, there's this little table I made from a My Froggy Stuff lemonade stand tutorial. There is just like some little dog and cat treats on the top. Um, there's some posters on there. And down here there is this little dog bed and some dog toys. Up here I just have this little shelf I made out of cardboard and duct tape and it just has some little treats and a brush and there's a poster that I don't know how it got up there but here I just have a little dog house I made, a um, little bird cage from the thrift store and this little bird stand I made out of dowling which a little red bird is sitting on. Over here I just had this little litter box which I made. And there's some rainbow loom leashes hanging and a little sign for her pet store. And lastly in this corner I just had this little pet grooming stand with a little cat in a bucket standing on it, sitting in it. And back there, there is this little apron. Okay, so directly above the pet store is the bakery. So let's go take a look. Okay, so starting over here, I just have the old American Girl baking table, which I believe is retired. So it just has like cakes and pots and pans and bowls and drinks and just a bunch of baking stuff. Most of it, it came with a table. Behind it, I just have this little apron, which came with, I think, like some baking accessories that match the table. Um, I have this really cute little counter, which I made from my Froggy Stuff tutorial, which is not a surprise because I seriously make everything from her tutorials because she's amazing. So in there, I just have a bunch of desserts that I made. And they kind of don't really change, they just kind of stay in there. Most of them I glue down just so they don't really fall. But up here I have this little shelf made out of duct tape with just some extra stuff. There's a whiteboard and a come in, we're open sign. The table is from Target Art Generation Line. I got it quite a long time ago. And on the table I just have some little treats and such. The little cupcakes are from the baking set. I just have some sunflowers behind it and some plates of cookies. And on the wall I just have this little cupcake set. Okay, so here's the bakery and then 
across from it is my craft room which is just covered in a curtain because it can become quite a mess and over here is the toy shop and my storage set so I've already done like a full tour on the toy shop but I'll just kind of give you a quick look at it and I will link the tour in the description box okay so across from the toy shop is this box thing which I talked about before but it used to be a kitchen cabinet but we kind of didn't need it anymore so I took the doors off and it makes a perfect little dollhouse so on the top I have my little store boutique thing and on the bottom I have my school so we're gonna start with the top which is the boutique here I just have two boxes from American Girl and I just have some shoes on top beside it I have this clear little box and just some American Girl bags and stuff back there there is some wall art from the American Girl Boutique book. I have these dresses hanging on a little line or holder thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, here's this little purse holder which is, I don't know, but I got this really cool thing from a thrift store and I just hung some purses on it. I don't know what it was supposed to be, but it looks really cute. Back there I just have some more posters and signs. Um, here is the main little desk area. It's just made out of two boxes. Here's another little clothing wrap, rack, sorry, and then there is a willow standing there. So that's the boutique. And below it is the school, which has changed a little bit, so I'm going to show you that. Starting on the right side, I have this piano, which is made from the doll school idea book thing. On the wall, I just have some posters. Back there is my locker that I made but it's like really breaking, the door has completely fallen off, but I'll show you inside in a second. And on the floor I just have these little um, books and a binder from American Girl and that backpack I made from a tutorial on Doll Diaries website. Here is a quick look inside the locker, I just have a violin and some little locker decorations. This thing in here I made in my most recent um, DIY American Girl School Supplies, but the E on Harper fell off, but yeah, I just have a bunch of cute little decorations in the locker. On the side of the locker, I just have this little backpack, and on the wall, I have this cork board, which um, is just a cork board, and I put a bunch of stuff on it. Here is the desk, which is the flip-top desk from American Girl, and it is pretty new. So I have this little lunch thing that I made on top. The idea is from American Girl Ideas, so you should go check her out, she's really awesome. Here's some notebooks that I made, and a little pencil on the desk. And in the shelves I just have some school supplies which I made and kind of collected from American Girl. I have this little reading corner, um, I have this little shelf which I made out of cardboard and there's a bunch of books in there. I have some pillows and just a little globe and flower pot on the shelf which is really cute. Up here I have a map and some posters, and here's the little teaching area type thing. So this is just a little wooden crate. Over here I have this little microscope from American Girl, some goggles, safety goggles, a picnic basket, some like little files and books under here, a fish tank, some test tubes, and this little folder I made, a little pencil case a whiteboard and these really cute little letters. Okay, so we're kind of just making our rounds around the room. So here's the door to the room and we're back at the kitchen area, but I haven't showed you Willow's room, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I did a room tour of Willow's room a long time ago, but her room is in a completely different area, so it has definitely changed, so I'm going to show you it. Her bed is made out of garden fencing and I just made the bedding on top, um, just from fabric, obviously. And there's some pillows on there. This cute little owl, which is an ornament from Target. This monogram W1. And beside her bed, she has an American Girl bag, um, a side table, an alarm clock, bean bag chair, and this little fur rug. Um, on the wall, she has this really cute triangle wall art. I have these little signs, which are from some American Girl book. And I have this really cute little Polaroid string thing. So that is Willow's room. So that concludes my American Girl um, house tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and let me know some video ideas you would like to see in the future. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!